Good morning and this is Studio 5 going live and this is day 13 of the Studio 5 online exhibition going live as we speak. If there are any blips or anything, um, I do apologise. It is the 13th day of the show and it is Friday. So for me it is Friday the 13th. Today we're going to be um, looking at uh, the Pilgrim's Progress from this world to that which is to come. Um, it's a cracking read if you've got time and um, it's basically uh, a Christian um, allegory written by John Bunyan. It is regarded as one of the most significant works of religious theological fiction in, the Eng in, in English literature. Um, it was, it's been translated into more than 200 languages and apparently it's never been out of print. And it is thought of by many as being the first novel written in English. So there you go, a little bit of background history there. Now, the book itself that we're looking at, and I'm just going to try and pan this out so we get a more of an overall view of it. There we go in again. And that needs to be, I've got sticky fingers. It would happen on the 13th, wouldn't it? Typical, typical. There we go, a little bit more of the book there. The book itself um, is bound in full leather with multiple inlays and onlays of leather. Um, there is gold leaf there as well, and a little bit more of that later on. The book itself measures 29.5 centimetres by 21, point, 21 centimetres by 3.8 centimetres when closed. Materials used, as I've mentioned, are um, we've got printing ink, we've got silk threads, we've got um, leathers, various, as I said, mentioned inlays and onlays. The binding is secondary sewn with full linen board attachment, three-quarter hollow with leather skirting, full edge decoration and hand-sewn M-bands. That's the technical bit out of the way. Oh yes, um, hand-printed end papers, leather joint to edge-to-edge -to -edge blur, which we covered yesterday. The text is in the form of a narration and um, basically is the story of an everyman from um, his hometown, which is referred to as the City of Destruction, which means this world, to the celestial city that is, that is to which is to come, which of course refers to heaven. On the way, our everyman uh, is faced with many different trials, many different situations, and comes into contact with many different people from different things. But also what we can basically, I hope, see here are references to the text. There are um, elements of slutonly, uh, gluttonly and sloth that we can make out here, a plate full of foods and everything. There are various angels, three of them in total, that come to sort of offer advice. Um, Fire-breathing dragons, and we can just make out a dragon behind the angels here. Um, <clears throat> lakes on fire, swamps full of sin and filth and scum, various journeys and ways that our hero could take, but all finally leading on to this journey, which is the these little dots here, which take us over to the backboard where we just have, and I'll just try and get this more in shot for you because it is this journey. We can make out all these dots and things happening along here to this golden orb, which is my representation of the celestial city. It's um, applied particles of gold leaf, uh, sorry, of um, leather, um, allowed to dry and then covered in gold leaf. So it really does shine as I think you can get the idea from there. Anyway, what we're looking at, let's have a look at see what's happening on the inside of the book. So we can turn this around. Please note again that these little dots, and I'll try and show you where these all these little dots come to, they are the footsteps of the journey. The illustrations in the book are scrummy uh, by George Cruikshank, and there are 25 in total. And basically, if I open this up a little bit more, you'll be able to see a bit more of the end papers and the doubler, I hope. The um, technique I've used is an offset printing technique. And they are abstractions taken from the original illustrations in the book by, again, by George Cruikshank. And it's a very, the technique I use, um, I use a lot of, uh, it's a very viscous process. There's a lot of um, ink used in it, so we do get a lot of detail. But if I can just get into the front board here, hopefully you'll be able to see that these little dots here, these yellow dots, they're actually leather inlays into the board. 
and they continue the journey from the outside of the binding onto the inside of the binding. And again, we can see this beautiful print again, which um, is basically, uh, as I say, an abstraction, an enlargement of one of the illustrations inside. So we only get a partial part shot of it. And we can see again this sort of journey happening where we have a perhaps a swamp or a lake, um, some form of construction, some form of architecture leading up into we've got clouds. And perhaps is this the celestial city? Well, that's for you to find out, the reader. The edges are fully decorated, coloured in black, and this ties in with the black and white illustrations. Uh, we've got a certain M band there, but I don't really want to move the camera too much. And then on the uh, back, do blur and M paper again, we've got a different image, a different print. I don't like repeating myself. I like to create a little bit of interest. And once again, perhaps a little bit difficult to make out, but we do have these dots continuing in onto the um, back board. Um, this is one of the first bindings I did when I left college. And it is... You know, college is a great place to learn, but it is also um, it can be quite difficult for a student because once you leave your college, that sort of that cradle of being looked after, you know, you you're you're on your own, and um, it's very easy to to have the mentality of that will do, um, but of course that will do never does. So I'd like to thank you all very much indeed for sharing my journey with the Pilgrim's Progress. And thank you all very much indeed. Please be careful. Let's lose, use protection out there. Follow sensible advice and I look forward to seeing everybody tomorrow with another going live from Studio 5. Thank you all. Bye-bye. Have a great, great, great day. Thank you.